ran our avocado tree so that the insects don't get up on them. So we had a little problem last week. We, uh, all the new uh, growth on the tree, uh, leaf cutter ants came through. Uh, well, first we had two things happen. We had two, uh, two hailstorms. You can see all the little, how they got beat up by the hail. Kind of rocked it. Um, they got hit twice. But see this new growth right here? Um, starting to come in. We're trying to protect it from the... Oh, this is kind of cool. Hold on. Check this thing out. Anyways, sorry. So we're trying to protect all this new growth. So they don't come up here and start taking chomps out. Those things are vicious. So what we're doing, I mean, Veronica are doing, are putting some cups here. We're putting these cups on and what these cups um, are doing is as soon as the leaf cutter ants come up the trunk they can't go they can't go anywhere so they stop right there and they just leave so hopefully this will protect because if they eat all the new growth twice the tree will pretty much die so that's what we're trying to do we got a hundred trees here and uh, our next thing they're going to be working on is our water system, watering system. Right now it's a rainy season, so we're okay, but we got to get something done before the rainy season's up. This is the damage that the leaf cutter ants do. Just took everything, all the new growth, pretty much grubbed it up. So these cups, pretty much up in the void. See the screen right here. Are we starting out over there? Okay. So here's what we're doing. We're just pretty much taping the top, made a little hole on the top, and just covering it up. One more. I'm gonna stick. Hold this. All the new growth. Probably in about two, three years. Two years, I think they'll be giving fruit pretty good. I got like four or five um, plum trees. Then I'm gonna graft uh, some better, better, uh, better variety of plum on it. Probably gonna do that. Hopefully during the winter time. We'll see. 
All right. Check it out.